You guys might recognize me from the OG days, but... It's too good not for you to have in your collection, so... I already know what he's gonna say. Look at him skewing. He's gonna be like... I think I paid a little bit too high, honestly. I was trying to get to, like... That's fine. I'm going to Vegas soon, so I'll run it. I've done a lot for Brandon, so I want to get these for you, because I know you don't have them. And I think it's a really... What do you call it? Heads. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Common Hype YouTube video. We got a really good one today, a lot of in-store cash outs, and we had some cool moments that happened at the end of last year that we're just getting around to posting, so stay tuned for those. Before we get into it though, we have a 20-piece, one-of-one hat rework collection dropping today in this video, commonhype.com. You guys can go shop. Again, 20 different one-of-one -one custom hats, all hand-placed stones on these. We called them the crystalled hats, because they got the crystals. Crystal did it, you know, it just ended, everything ended up working out. There's only one man walking around with a one of one custom hat like this, and that is Mr. Rick Ross himself. We did a black on black version for him uh, when we saw him at Got Soul, and it's very similar to this one if you guys can pick up on those. So really, really sick. We've been working on this one for the last couple of weeks, so if you guys want to check them out, again, commonhype.com. One of one pieces, only 20 available, so they should fly fast. Make sure you guys go check it out and uh, go and get yours. Speaking of God's Soul and Rick Ross though, we have God's Soul coming to Phoenix for the very first time, May 11th, you guys cannot miss it. Johnny Manziel is hosting, and it's God's Soul. You never know who else is gonna pull up. We've heard some names get thrown around in the mix, so you never know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a great time, and it's gonna be the first time that God's Soul comes to Phoenix. We're looking forward to hosting and, uh, and having everyone there, so make sure if you guys are in Phoenix, May 11th, or any of the surrounding areas, pull up God's Soul Phoenix. It's going to be a movie. Thank you guys for supporting all these drops. You guys can see more information on the Instagram, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of today's video. Some use, mostly me. Um, he watches YouTube. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah. These are mad rare. Yeah. Not them on, just not this. Oh, these are fire. Was gonna do a personal, but I have not feeling them. Nah. They're, aren't they expensive? Super expensive. <laughs> are these all new or used or kind of a mix? Uh, these are used and the rest should be new. You have a... You want credit? Cash? Um, cash? Unless you guys have like some... I'm looking for some fives. I call it blue suede. No, nope. nice no blue suede fives. No blue suede fives. Just off the top of my head. Do you have a price in mind? Are you going for it? Um, you can just go for like fair customer. Um, you want to start in the Cortez? Yeah. I was honestly looking just to get like 400 on it. Oh man. I know, that's pretty close to... It may be tough. Um, would you, ugh, would you take three on them? Like 380? We may not be too close. Uh, 320? I'll probably just hold off on for now. Okay, we may, we may be able to come back for this. I've never sold a pair of Cortezes on this thing. I've never had one in the store. I can try them out, but... Um, let me see. How much you got in the Thunders? Love These now. I'm pretty demeaning because I bought them off my cousin and they just haven't been used for me. So. Gotcha. Yeah, Thunders are like use, I don't know, but if it's not a Pine SB4, mm -hmm. the used market on Forest is kind of weird, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, do you have a price in mind for these? Just like 260 That's probably what we sell them at, to be honest with you. Um, I give you 180 for them. Do you 200 Um. No, I just want to be for a month, just because I Honestly, I think I'll do that. 180 is cool? Mm -hmm. Cool. I've had them for like at least six months, so. Um, two on these? Two. Cool. No. Easy. 180, 200. Uh, I have a ton of these, bro. Really? Like a dick ton of these. Um, I would take them for 240, but if that's too likely, I understand. I can do that. 240, cool. I actually got retail for them, so. What are you thinking on these? The Kobe's, I haven't even looked at market on those, so. What size is it? I think it's a size 10, right? Yeah, size 10. Um, market's 220, could you do 200? Uh, yeah, 200 is fair, I'm not gonna argue that. Okay. So we got buck 80 plus 200 plus 200 plus 240. Uh, these? Um, I think it was a nine. Size nine, yeah. Let's see, I know this kind of bricked. Yeah, this is not one I've really that bad, like, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I'll make it easy. I'll make it easy for you. I'll give you buck fifty. Buck fifty? Yeah, I'd be firm on that too. Could you do a buck sixty? I'd love to, but this one I'd be firm on. We're, run me one fifty on these. We'll try and get a little closer on these. Okay. Um, three fifty. Three fifty and a buck sixty. 
Um, no, both, <laughs> both 50 and, three, and 350. Um, I think I'll just hold off on both pairs. I don't know. I don't know why you want those. I kind of just want to try them. Here. You just want to flip a coin over it? I'm down. Okay, we'll flip a coin. 300, 400? Uh, no, no. <laughs> we'll do three, uh, basically three, what is it, 350, 360, or 160? Mm -hmm. Or 340 and 150? 340, 150 or 160 and 350. Let's do it. Why don't we figure out what the totals of those numbers are? Just flip it from there. So 160, 350? No, I, got, I already got 160, it. 160, 350. So 510 or 150, 340. Is that what you guys said? 510 or 490? Yeah. You just made it much more complicated. I you want to call in the air? It's so much easier. Oh, uh, yeah. 510 cool. or 490. What are you calling? Heads. Heads. Fails. Fails. Let's go. Um, okay, should be 13.30, let me double check. So we got 3.40 plus 1.50 plus 1.80 plus 200 plus 200 plus 2.40. 13.10. Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah, throw out a check or something. Yeah, that works. Do uh, you have PayPal? Otherwise, I can write to your check. Uh, check is cool. Cool, sounds good. Started? We're live. All right, size 11 half fragment. Some of you more. guys might recognize me from the OG days, but I had to shave my head because, you know, distractions. John worked for us for a week. <laughs> Literally a week, and then he quit. Hey, sometimes, you know what the old saying is, life gets in the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you flipping it? Heads, tails. I'll flip it. You call it? Yeah. All right, cool. I want tails. You want tails? Yeah. All right, I'm going to flip it in the air. Here we go. 1050 or 1150 coin flip. Let's go. He says tails. Wow, that's a nice spin. What are we looking at? Hey, Tails I've, it is. I've done a lot for Brandon. <laughs> it's, it's time I win one. Good stuff. Let him finish it in. Good coin. Look, this is what it is. I'm so mad. Sell, sell him for 16 tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. I'm going to send you the story. Yeah, send me the 2000, story. 2000, brand new. No, lightly worn. Thanks, John. How are you doing today? Good. You look like you know what you want. Um, I know what my boyfriend likes. Okay. Not really. Okay. I just know he loves y'all. Tell him we love him too. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions, just let me know, alright? <laughs> cash, store credit? What are you looking for? Uh, cash is cool. Uh, those are the only ones that are <laughs> used right there. These are used? Yeah. What are you selling? I feel like I just loaded up on these. I have like eight, nine pairs, and I just, I feel like I'm like out of the easy phase. Yeah. Right? Get trying to get into my Nikes nowadays, you know what I mean? I feel you, I feel you. Um, what are you looking for? For all of them, I was thinking like five, but I'm, I'm open to offers for it. Okay, I don't know if I'll get. be that close. Um, just because these, I mean, they're all kind of just low right now, but let me see yeah. what I can do. Okay. Would you do 350 for all of them? Do like four. I'll do three seventy. That's fine. I'm going to Vegas soon, so I'll run it. Where are you going? Um, next weekend for UFC three hundred. So. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. First UFC fight. I'm going to Vegas for my bachelor party. When's that? Um, April twentieth. Where are you staying at? Uh, I honestly have no idea yet. We're still trying to figure all that stuff out. We just got the group together that we're gonna go. Uh, where'd you get all these from? All of them from Yeezy Supply. I could probably pull up the, uh, the purchases. On my these look fine. This is, these look fine. These look fine. Those I got from Confirmed for gotcha. sure. I definitely have the receipt for those. Cool, man. Um, I think you have enough cash. Let me just go double check. Yeah, you're good. No worries. I'll get your paint out. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Good, good to see you again, brother. Good to see you, too. Thank you, sir. I didn't see you, brother. Have fun in Vegas, dog. Yes, sir, you too. Don't do anything I want to do, all right? Hey. I wore them like twice, so they're, they have a little common height soft lint in them. But if okay. you got an eight and a half or nine, and you ever bring them to Tempe, just know Hayden's gonna try them on, or at least debate buying them. I think they fit you. Hayden. They do fit me. <laughs> they really? Like a, glove, like a glove. Shut up. Yeah, perfectly. I knew they would because they fit. Hell well, they fit a little big. Are you are you gonna buy them? Yeah. Well, what if Brand I want him? Brandon also wants this shoe. Well, I hit her up this, first, so I'll kick uh, her off. This might fit you, because you're more a nine. It depends. I mean, I could They're just kind of wide, that's why. Oh, those Hi. look nice. Hi! Hey. Hi, honey! How are you? Oh, my God. Oh, what do you think? Thank you. What do you mean, what do we think? What, what, what price did she say? She said 240. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be next door. 
Okay, I'll come back over. Right? 240? 240 is what I want. I already know what he's going to say. Look at him skewing. He's going to be don't, like, wait, do we have anything to trade? Don't say. No, he's going to say 200. Oh, 220. He's going to say, say, wait, Two? do 200. 200. Oh. No, Haven, you can't, you can't do that to your... <laughs> I know, you right? What are you going to do? I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy them. When are you done wearing them? Can I have them? Yeah, 1,000%. All right, deal. Bet. Hey, Bet. great business. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> oh, did you get some Mad Rabbit stuff? I love this brand. Okay, that's Really? Yeah. It's tough. He said, really? The bomb and the... Thank you. Now you got to pay 240 for no, sure. Ah. Uh. All right, big cash out in store. 3,800 bucks for 53 pairs. Unfortunately, the guy didn't want to be on camera, so it is what it is. I love you guys like the actual point of view cameras. If you see me rubbing my eye, by the way, it's because my contacts all jacked up. But um, these pairs over here, all brand new. Um, so you got SB4s right here. Comes out to about 80 bucks a pair. Uh, if you really break it down, so you're like, oh, well, that's a great deal on these SB4s. Oh well, yeah, absolutely it is. We got a brand new pair of DMP Jordan 11s. We've got a brand new pair of D-Books, the blue pair, brand new pair of Air Forces, couple brand new pairs of 380s. Here's a gem that you don't see DS often anymore. Cream, easy 350s. These had everybody in a chokehold factor in the year. Uh, even got some Racer SBs. You'll notice that we have a Bread 4 reimagined box as well. But then you get over to this stuff, and this is where you're like, wow, I can't believe you paid 90 bucks a pair. Well, you know, or 80 bucks a pair. Stuff like this that we'll go on network and we'll sell it, but it'll go for pretty cheap. Um, taxis right here. We've got some reimagined three grade schools. Um, so this stuff actually isn't this, this bad. That's not, it's not, it's not great, you know. You know, for the kids, for sure. But the beauty of actually having a kid or maybe your girl wears a size like this, or even if, you're a guy and let's just say you've been really wanting the gorge greens and you don't want to pay a brand new pair you can always get them lightly worn for a lot cheaper especially in these retro colorways so stuff like this, this is a size nine men i call it the poor man's raging bull jordan four these are a woman's pair i forgot the exact name of them but um stuff like this that we can get semi-cheap that's not really going to sell for a lot for us maybe a hundred bucks on that pair this will probably sell for like 40 to 50 bucks for us so all in all, everything kind of averages out. Um, the real gem in here, though, was these three pairs. So this is a really good one. You got the Craft All Fours. This 2011 Black Cement 3. I mean, the leather on this is just absolutely insane. Um, some slight cracking on the midsole. Definitely needs some work. But again, if we go live, this will sell for easily 200 bucks, especially since it's a 2011. Um, Another good one, the Reimagine Cement Jordan 3s, and then lightly worn DMPs, lightly worn cool gray 11s, and some lightly worn muslin 3s. So let me know what you guys think about this cash out. We try and buy all pairs, no matter the condition, no matter the sizes, um, as long as the price makes sense for us. So I think I paid a little bit too high, honestly. I was trying to get to like 65 a pair, um, but they had some stuff that really inflated the price, like these cream 350s like these SB4s, so let me know in the comments what you guys think about this cash out. 53 pairs for $3,800. All right, special package just came in the mail. Shout out to Tia from Sneak City. She posted these in a Facebook group and I had to text her immediately to get these on reserve. You guys have seen this pair of shoes in Johnson's collection. Just a really hard SB to come by. Ashad wear flat silver SB dunks, the same pair that Johnson has in this collection, just in a much better condition. I actually thought about giving this to Johnson, but I know a 10 and a half was gonna be too small for him. He needs a true 11. So Bryson wears a 10 and a half. He's commented on these multiple times in Johnson's collection, just because it's a beautiful SB dunk and it's a shoe you don't really come by often. So anytime I have the opportunity to grab something like this, I absolutely will but it happens to be rice inside. So I actually want to gift these to him right now. He's in the studio right now eating Chipotle, so let's go surprise him. Brian, listen, I got a crazy package. That came in the mail, and it happens- To be my size? It happens to be your size. So I thought, you know what? It, it's too good not for you to have in your collection, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna gift them to you. Really? I, wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I was gonna get the checkbook out. No, you don't need to get the checkbook out. I feel I mean Bryson's worked hard. The winter collection drop was great. Shout out to Bry. Yeah, that's Riz. All right, let me see. Thanks, Phil. Can you guess what it is? I saw it was a half and half SV box. Uh-huh. 
Any guess. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Johnson has them in his collection. Oh, okay. That narrows it down to like 400 <laughs> other pairs. Uh, I think I know what it is. Let me yeah. see that. What color is nah, it? Nah, just not what I thought it was. I'm going to show you. You're never going to guess. Uh, yeah, you're not going to guess. You ready? Okay. Yeah. You ready? It's good, bro. All right. Wow. Yeah. The Easter specials? Yeah. Did you guess that? Hell no. Yeah, what... It's like Johnson's favorite shoe. It is. Wow. But he needs an 11. I've been on my pink vibe, too. Yeah, so, <laughs> 10 and a half. Wow, five. that's love. That's actually crazy karma because there's a pair of shoes next door that I actually picked up for Johnson. We got a pair of size 10 and a half uh, SB, thin tongue SBs like these, and it's the 2005 baseball pair. And Johnson doesn't have them. And I called him, I said, Do you fit a 10 and a half like, skinny tongue? And he goes, Yeah. So I got those for him. Because I really wanted them, but I was like, Johnson would appreciate these way more because he's a big sports fan, first of all. But two, it's just. It's cool to get Johnson something that he doesn't have because the dude has everything. I so actually thought he was cool. 11, so, I mean, who? Sorry, Johnson. Oh, but, but he could have got the double up. Look, he could have, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, these are tough. Yeah, that's a money fit. Damn, that's hard. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Appreciate you. The only thing with these that scares me is the, like, Nubuck or Suede or whatever it's made out of gets dirty so fast. But you don't beat your shoes like that, so. No. These are a special occasion pair for sure. Yeah. That's hard though. I appreciate that. No worries. What a sleeper pair. Had to. Well, had to. Alright, you guys just saw Brandon gifted me the uh, Easter Dunks. I don't know exactly what the name of them are. But I got these for Johnson. Uh, you guys might have seen it in the Instagram reel, but I picked these up and this is a shoe that Johnson doesn't have. And I think it's a shoe that he would really love to have in his collection. So I'm gonna go gift them to him right now. I actually picked these up for him. And I just think it's pretty cool. He just pulled up out of nowhere and Brandon had gifted me that pair this morning and I had already intended to gift these to Johnson. So I don't know, kind of cool. We're gonna go check it out and see what he thinks. All right, Johnson. I got something for you. I originally got it for myself, and then I don't know if you remember, but a couple weeks ago I called you and I said, Can you fit a 10 and a half thin tongue SB? Ooh, I and do you told remember. Me you could. So I wanted to get these for you because I know you don't have them, and I think it's a really cool shoe that you would like. Okay. It's a 2005 baseball SB dunk. Look at this. Tongue. Not SB, not SB, sorry, but dunk. But yeah, it's got like the baseball stitching. Where does this originate from? No idea. Well, we bought them from a collection from a guy one Saturday. He came in with like 40 pairs and Brandon bought almost all of them. They were almost all like 10 Look at that 10. baseball stitch. You don't see that that often. No, it's so sick. But yeah, I just thought there was a sweet colorway. And I know you don't have them. Oh, and they're already worn, them. so I was like, I already know you can, you can get right after it. Hey, we clean no, up thank you, bro. Of course, man. I was thinking of you. And then... These aren't for you. I'm sorry you can't keep these. But I did want to show you these because these came in today. Wow, those are interesting. I can't try those on though. I can't? <laughs> I won't. I, I mean, you I could try. if you really wanted to. Oh, these are totally fit. Oh, yeah? Those look money. Yeah, those are money. I got to loosen them up a little bit yeah, on, yeah. The, on the laces. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I like that um, satin. satin yeah. That's what everyone said so far. I, I think the three D tongue is sweet. Three D what? All like three D stitch. It's not a flat. Oh, it's not yeah. flat. It's got. Oh, the swoosh. Yeah. Do you like the Jordan signature? The same color. I yeah. I like how it's. I like how it's subtle in there. I do too. And then, I don't even know what this back material is though. It feels like a flannel. It's like cheap canvas. Yeah. Cheap. It's something. Sorry. I like the gold stamp though. That's. That's kind of different. I've never seen that on insoles. a pair. Insoles. Interesting. Like they're two different colors. Yeah, I, I did see that. It was kind of weird. Colorway's sick though. Yeah, it Colorways. is. Yeah, I feel you on the satin. Satin. Though. Thoughts? Man. I like them. Uh, I really like them. That's oh, just cool. Yeah. That's the eight colorway. Aged midsole too. Yep. This is different color. Yeah, I like it. Oh wow. I don't know what the box looks like though. Yeah, the toe box is a di different material. Same with the side. Yep. Yeah. I like it. Oh, this will wear really nice because it's got like a. Mm -hmm. Satin finish inside. Those would be a great. Well, you heard it here first. What size? I, I is feel it? like you have the most valid opinion. Uh, a ten. This guy came in store. He bought them, and he's like, "I'm gonna undies them, but I know you guys do content or early shoes. If you wanted to just do some on foots with them." Oh, that's so nice. I was like, oh yeah. 
So he's going to come pick him up later. Wait, so did you just show those baseball dice to him and just got to give it to him? I did. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, you made it sound like you weren't giving it to him. Who is this guy? I don't think I made it sound Lee like has him on. Yeah, I have him on. I said I was going to keep him, but I, you don't have him. And then I called him to see if he could fit him, and he said he could. Kind of like the stitch on there, huh? It's the fire. stitch is the best part. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Facts. Yeah, facts. Cool. Thanks, bro. Of course. We forgot to show him this part. Brandon just walked in randomly this morning. Or not this morning, but I was eating lunch right here earlier. And he's like, I picked these up for you in your size. How about the hat? Dude, this is a clean pair too. Where did clean pair? Are, these are DS, Dumbo. These are DS. No, they're not DS. Close. Close though. The uppers are clean though. But I know Very. from what yours looks like how dirty they do get. So yep. like, I'm gonna be careful with them. Are these your size? Uh huh. Yeah. No. Ten and a half. They're your size too. But yeah, these. Are it doesn't ten and a half. Yeah. This is such a good shoe. We'll wear about Easter this year. Mm -hmm. It's Charleston's Easter shoe.